Transportation and Transit Oriented Development There are currently four transportation initiatives that could serve as catalysts for economic development within Plainfield. They include the ARC Project, Triple Tracking, the Union Cross County Rail Link, and the Jitney Service. The ARC Project, which stands for Access to the Region's Core, is the most important transportation project that will affect Plainfield. When completed in 2017, the $8.7 billion project will effectively double the capacity of the existing tunnels entering Midtown Manhattan and positively affect communities throughout New Jersey. By 2030, morning trips to Penn Station, New York are expected to increase by 59%. ARC will allow New Jersey Transit to absorb this ridership and expand it by an additional 47%. The ridership growth promises to create 44,000 new jobs. Most important, by doubling rail capacity, the corridor will allow more one-seat ride options into Midtown Manhattan, a major convenience currently unavailable on some New Jersey transit lines, including the one serving Plainfield. Plainfield can become an extremely desirable location, residential location for New York City commuters. One-seat ride options will be feasible due to the deployment of dual-mode locomotives, DMLs. They could be in operation as early as 2014 on weekends and off-peak hours. Frequency of service during the morning and afternoon is expected to increase with the extra tunnel and DML service as peak train capacity improves from six trains per hour to seven, with three going directly into Manhattan. Current travel times of local and express service to Manhattan are 71 minutes and 62 minutes respectively. ARC will reduce these to 62 minutes and 53 minutes. The DMLs will bring a limited form of this service be before 2017, but more trains will be added after the tunnels are complete. The current ridership from both Plainfield stations is less than 2,000 daily passengers. Prorating the Raritan Valley Line from the final environmental impact study, New Jersey Transit predicts, predicts a ridership increase of 109% by 2030, which is attributed to the ARC tunnels. Further development in Plainfield could potentially increase this. Currently, a portion of the Raritan Valley Line makes use of Conrail's Lehigh Valley Freight Line. A long-standing contractual agreement with the railroad owner limits New Jersey Transit service along this corridor. Triple tracking has been proposed as a viable solution in which the addition of a third track on a portion of the line will remove this restriction and potentially allow additional trains to run during off-peak travel and provide more flexibility along the corridor. Although New Jersey Transit did not receive Tiger stimulus money for this project, they will continue to make this a priority. Historically, Plainfield had four stations. However, by the 1970s, service was discontinued to the two West End stations. The possibility of New Jersey Transit reopening any of the West End stations in the near future is highly unlikely because of funding constraints and New Jersey Transit policy about spacing of new stations. Our overall strategy is to provide Plainfield options that will make the restoration of some form of transit service compelling in the future. One option is the establishment of more frequent localized service to these stations, building upon recommendations made in the Cross County Rail Link study. This study examined potential transit options for providing improved access to current and future activity centers. The connection would operate from Cranford to Elizabeth, with Alternative 2 proposing an extension to the Jersey Gardens Mall and a ferry terminal, including enhanced service down the Raritan Valley Line. This could provide service to areas not currently served by New, Jer New Jersey Transit, to, such as the West End and Plainfield, and promote development along the corridor. In recent developments, New Jersey Transit has considered Bus Rapid Transit, BRT, as an option that will provide enhanced service. We will monitor these developments through the course of the study. In 1932, Plainfield had a trolley that created intermobility within the city. Today, the possibility of a jitney route, such as that of Glenridge, Glenridge or Maplewood can restore the connection between the West End and downtown Plainfield Station. This proposed 15-minute loop around West Front Street, Clinton Avenue, West 4th Street, Plainfield Avenue, and West 5th Street can be coordinated with the Raritan Valley Rail Line schedule to integrate residents from the West End with rail service as well as the city's downtown. Subsequently, the Jitney stops could potentially become transit-oriented development areas throughout the route. Experiences in Maplewood have shown that jitney stops increase home values in the surrounding areas. Our proposals will try to create similar opportunities in Plainfield. Transit-oriented development is what we wish to foster in the city of Plainfield. 
TOD is a design catalyst for communities that constitute a mix of residential and commercial uses and focuses on getting the most out of accessing different modes of public transportation, but primarily concentrates on rail transit. The idea of a TOD can easily, easily be summed up and achieved by the four Ds, distance, density, diversity, and design. Distance. Distance is based on a person's travel between a station and their home. This walking distance is measured within a quarter mile to half mile radius from the station's exit. Walkability and accessibility are significant factors of a successful TOD. Density. Density is created by developing mixed use and residential units in a concentrated area that brings more services and vitality. The following three examples of TOD in surrounding New Jersey communities have shown to be successful. Brick Church Commons, located in East Orange, New Jersey, is along the Morris-Essex rail line and includes a total of 104 two- and three-bedroom units leased at affordable and market rates with 37,500 square feet of retail below and 114 surface and underground parking spaces. Park Square in Rawway, New Jersey, is on the Northeast Corridor and includes a total of 63 one- and two-bedroom units leased at market rates with an occupancy rate of 97%. It includes 71 indoor and outdoor parking spaces and over 3,000 square feet of retail space on the ground level. Cranford Crossing in Cranford, New Jersey is along the Raritan Valley Line and includes a total of 50 one and two bedroom units leased at market rates with an occupancy rate of 96%. It includes 55 parking spaces and ample retail space on the ground level. Retail development at this site is struggling with four out of nine retail spaces vacant due to the economy. Diversity. Diversity in a TOD is critical since choice is the defining feature of a community. It can be applied to the range of housing options for different income brackets, a collection of various mixed-use developments that satisfy a potential market, and different groups that together form a community. We show these graphic icons to represent the different forms of diversity in a TOD. This matrix shows the different elements that sustain diversity in different categories of people, residences, commercial, recreation, and parking, all common factors of a TOD. We all understand the idea of a white collar and blue collar worker. We have introduced new groups such as the black collar, people from creative backgrounds, red collar, single parents, pink collar, single adults, and the flower collar, the generation of empty nesters and baby boomers. We have identified these as collar and tie types icons to graphically represent each group. Design. Design of the overall TOD needs to be specific to the place and its people. Design attracts different markets and brings in economic benefits within the developed area as well as its surroundings. A recent study done on the direct economic benefits of the Morris Essex rail line shows a 113 increase in residential property values of residences within walking distance of train stations. With the right master plan and TOD design applied, a similar increase could benefit Plainfield.